Hello, today I'm properly excited and it's not just because I finished the Jakobsson's wintergreen can. I've been snoozing um, like honey snooze, herbal snooze, wintergreen snooze recently and it's really nice to now go over to what I hope is a tobacco centric snooze. And um, as I've said before, uh, I'm sort of exploring the snooze world. Uh, there's loads and loads out there that I haven't tried most of course i have i've only tried a few snoozes really and one of the brands that i'm yet to try and that i will try now is odin or odin and this is a brand that's made by gn tobacco and this is actually the brand with the most different types of snooze snoozes on the market i think they got over 40 different odins and I haven't tried a single one of them. So it's really exciting to try something new that I hope is going to be good. If it's not good, who knows? Maybe some of the other ones are good, of course. Uh, but they should have some sort of basic uh, tobacco flavor to, to base their snoozes on, I guess. Um, and they have different lines within the Odin brand. And the extreme one is the strongest. This they claimed used to be the strongest snooze in the world so that'll be quite interesting um, <clears throat> I believe that 20 portions in the can and I also believe that the portion size is 0 0.9 grams it's a little bit hard to find the information about this I found uh, but what's easy to find the information about is that it's 22 milligrams per gram of nicotine so that brings us to close to 20 grams per portion which is you know, like two and a half times stronger than a general original portion, <clears throat> something like that. And the only other brand on the market is, I believe, Thunder, um, made by V2 Tobacco. They also have some really strong snoozes, and their strong snoozes are called uh, Ultra Strong, while Odin's call them Extreme. Then there is also now made by the same people who make Odin's GN tobacco also make something called Siberia and that's where you go if you want to go really really extreme because that's much stronger than this and it, it, that's the strongest news on the market but this should really be up there so it'll be really interesting another thing that's exciting is that I haven't actually opened this can yet so I will open it with you and this will be the first smell and taste of an Odin snooze for me ever so you can see here the artwork of it they're really going with the the Viking theme on this one so let's crack it open shall we okay so here we've got the portions not massively moist sort of in between looking quite regular I'll show you one here it's quite standard I can smell it already okay fluffing up pretty nicely looking good smell right the it's strong strong smell but I do get some sort of well, there's strong tobacco in the background, but quite strong whiff here, in the beginning at least. I hope it's not going to stay like this, actually. Of, what's it called? Peroxide or something like that? You know, you you colour your hair with. It's like a clean, some cleaning. Yeah. Like a cleaning product. Um, very strong of that, actually. Surprised. I thought it would be more tobacco-centric, but that is... My honest opinion, my first smell of it ever. Let's put one of these in. Let's see. Okay. Got that in so so. <laughs> Let's do that a little bit better. Okay. Can't really taste the the cleaning products luckily it's a bit like in general sometimes I get ammonia in that one 
you don't really taste that luckily I will be back with you when I finished the whole can so I'll know much more about it and I'll give you a verdict on Odin extreme portion hey new background you're not staring into a wall anymore I've got some lighting issues in the evenings here have to work on that and maybe even change camera work on all those things for my videos in the future uh, it's been a lovely day down here in Brighton nice and sunny so I'm in a good mood although hmm, not so good this news last one goes in what happened the other day was that I fell asleep with one of these in and woke up and let me tell you it will blow your mind if you do that that was second only to the time when I accidentally bit into a portion that I didn't realize was in when I was chewing bread so I got bread mixed with tobacco uh, that's probably the worst snooze experience I've had this one being the second it unleashed the entire horror of the taste of this snooze we are still talking about Odin's extreme that's not gonna help the rating of this one I'm afraid um, it does taste of peroxide so the the trick with this one is don't let it release any taste basically you will be much happier just keeping it in for a short while and then taking it out after you get the nicotine effect so it's got two things going for it this snooze first one being the nicotine strength if you're after that second one is pretty cheap I believe uh, apart from that the taste is about as bad as it gets really um, it, it just is pure peroxide I thought it didn't taste that initially but it really unleashes that after a while and it smells like peroxide you can't really get used to that unfortunately well I can't it's uh, and I you know I review snooze I want a snooze to be enjoyable and if you're after the nicotine hit I'm sure Odin's and Thunder and I did mention Odin and Thunder before they are not the only ones making strong snoozes you also get for instance you get Swedish match making uh, G3 general and the lab series there are some other strong snoozes out there for sure but Odin's and Thunder are the the brands with the most strong products I believe all of Thunder all of the Thunder products are strong pretty much and most of Odin's but they're also making a lot of different tastes so you got like Odin mint uh, different mint ones and, and Thunder as well Thunder frosted so on. I haven't tried any of those yet but I'm sure they taste better so if you want that nicotine hit I'm hoping that this is not the way forward because I will not give it a high rating it's mainly about taste and enjoyment for me the nicotine hit yes it will it will kick you a little bit for sure you can feel this one uh, but at the end of the day with that horrible experience of waking up in the middle of the night uh, with a snooze in I can't give this more than one and a half out of ten so worse in the wintergreen right I'll see you in the next video thanks